Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure JPEG 7.2 on Ubuntu 24.04 by using PostgreSQL as the database. Okay, so open any web browser, then go to JPEG official website that is jpegs.com. See here at the time of making this video, the latest release is JPEG 7.2. Okay, click on get JPEG, then click on JPEG packages. Then see here we have the 5.0, 6.0, 7.0. These are LDI versions, and the latest version is 7.2. And this 7.4 is the free release. Okay, so select the version, then select the operating system from this voice distributions. So select Ubuntu, then see here we have the versions 24.0, 22.04, up to 16.0 older version. Okay. So, I am on Ubuntu 24.04 so verify mod slash etc os hyphen release see I am on Ubuntu 24.04 okay then select JBX components see here we have these options I am going to install JBX server front end and agent then select databases PostgreSQL then app server I am going with Apache okay once we select all these options then it will populate the commands to be executed okay before executing commands first we have to install the apache apache web server and php and its extensions so open terminal control a first install the apache web server sudo apt install apache 2 hit enter provide the password of sudo user hit enter sorry it is typo see apache is already installed then install the php and its extensions hit enter i will keep this command in the video description type for confirmation and hit enter also install this library so we have installed the prerequisites where for the status of the apache server sudo System CTL status Apache 2. See Apache web server is running. Okay, you to quit control it now. Go to this page now. It is saying become to root user, or you just have the pseudo privileges. That's also fine. So, first install the JBX repository, copy this command. then sudo don't forget to give sudo for the non root user and paste it and hit enter it is done now install this package ls see here we have this package install it sudo dpkg hyphen i then give jbix give the tab to autofill entire debian package name hit enter it is done control l now update the packages sudo apt update hit enter packages are up to date and i forgot to tell you you must in install the process equal if you haven't installed process equal then search for my youtube channel how to install process equal on ubuntu operating systems why because here i have selected databases process equal okay so next third step is we have to install jbx server front end and agent so copy this entire command sudo paste it remove the hash see i just added the sudo and remove the hash hit enter see it is installing jvx server pg sql extensions so hit enter Type for confirmation and hit enter. We have successfully installed. Now, step D create initial database. Okay, so connect to process equal server, create the user, then create the database or just copy this command
copy it, paste it, hit enter. Now it is asking the password for this user. So it is going to create this JBX user. So provide the password and remember it. I am giving password as admin at 123. Okay, remember it. Again type same. So we have successfully created user. Now create the database, copy this one, paste it, hit enter. We have created. Verify whether this JBX user and JBX database is created or not. sudo su hyphen postgres psql backslash tu see we have created user jbix also verified databases backslash l select dat name from pg underscore database see we don't have database so exit control l exit again now do this one copy it paste it, remove the hash, hit start, hit enter, now verify, sudo su hyphen postgres psql backslash l, see here we have the database jbix, before why it was not performed, I have copied this hash, so don't copy that, copy only this, then we have to give the password, remember it, then copy this one to create the database okay so this step is completed now exit from the process equal backslash to use the command exit from this postgres user now we have to import the initial scheme on data you will prompt it to enter newly created password as i told you i have given admin at one two three if you have given some other remember that password and provide the same okay paste it hit enter See, it is creating objects and inserting data. We have successfully imported data. Now, we have to configure the JVIC server. So, go to this folder, file, sudo vi, paste that path with the file name, hit enter, scroll down, come to the db password. DB username. Here we have to give the password. See this parameter we have to configure. So it is blank. So remove the hash. Shift A. Then give the password. As I tell you, I have given the password 123. No need to give quotations or anything. Just save the file. Double Q exclamation. Hit enter. We have successfully saved. Okay see what i have done i just edited this file and made this parameter it was commented out so i removed the comment and i have given the password in my case password is jbix the password that here we have given that is the password okay so now next step is we have to start the jbix server and its agent processes so verify the status of the jbix server sudo system ctl status jbix hyphen server see it is not started okay so with this command we can start all jbix server agent and apache service anyway apache is started anyway start it again sudo paste that command hit enter now enable these services copy this one paste it give the sudo at the start and hit enter it is creating simings now if the status of the jvx server see it is started also if the status of the agent see this is also started apache 2 we have already verified it was also started control a now open jvx web ui ui web page copy this url go to new tab paste it instead of post just give hostname of this PC. Hostname. See, this is the hostname. Copy it. Remove the host here. Hit enter. See, welcome to jbix 7.2. Click on next step. 
see prerequisites all are green then click on next step here select the database type post sql database host name the same port number for post sql is 5432 Your database is jbix schema database schema also jbix username jbix then password provide the password i'm giving oh, i have given the password is admin 8123 then click on next step it is not connected because we have to check the schema see if you receive this error go to the terminal sudo connect to process equal sudo postgres psql backslash jbix backslash c to connect to jbix database ls sorry backslash dn see the schema name is public not the jbix so change the schema name here public then click on next step then provide the password one more time then unselect this database then click on next step see successfully connected now provide the jbix server name so localhost because jbix is installed on this server then default time, time zone select from this list i am going with the default one then select the theme i am ok with the blue then click on next step see this is a free installation summary then click on next step congratulations you have successfully installed jbix server jbix front end so click on finish now we have to provide the username username is admin it must be caps if you give like admin and password is jbix okay if you give this one it will throw error see you got the incorrect username and password so a must caps okay, okay. then password is jbix then click on sign in not now this time we are able to connect see here we have installed jbx server 7.2.7 ok number of hosts 1 see the performance indicator ok then see here in the left side dashboards monitoring services inventory reports data collection alerts and users and administration ok go to users again users see here the initial username is admin ok and this is the guest user it is disabled ok if you want to create user just click on create user then you have to fill all these details ok i am not going to create now again go back to users if you want to change the password of this admin user then here click on change password then we have to provide current password that is zebix then new password and see here by default these roles as an internal and jbix administrator ok if you want to add others see here these are the groups ok you will see but if you stop the apache server we won't be able to connect jbix, JBIX dashboard sudo systemctl stop apache 2 now reload this page see we are unable to connect ok so apache server must be up and running sudo systemctl start apache 2 it enter it is started now reload this page see we got the jbx dashboard ok so in this video we have seen how to install and configure jbx server 7.2 on ubuntu operating system by using postgresql as the database ok for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you